Good afternoon. I'm Ann McInerney Ogle, Mayor for the City of Vancouver, and today is Thursday, April 23rd. Thank you to Alex and Abel, our American Sign Language interpreters today. I'd like to start today by addressing the growing frustration with our state's stay-at-home order and requests to reopen businesses right away. I want to make sure everyone understands that the governor's stay-at-home order is state law. The requirements set forth under this order, including closures and suspension of public gatherings, are something that every city in the state must comply with. We as a city cannot arbitrarily change these provisions under the order. We cannot decide to reopen businesses or to start allowing large public events. We all must comply with the law as long as this order is in effect. The tough decisions that state governors have had to make over the past month by issuing stay-at-home orders and suspending large gatherings and non-essential activities are working to slow the spread of the deadly coronavirus throughout our communities. Too many people have died from this terrible disease. People all over the world are grieving over the sudden loss of their loved ones. Too many people have lost their economic stability as a result of this horrible disease. And that is why we've got to halt the spread of the virus to stop this pandemic from wrecking havoc on our communities. It's impressive how people have stepped up and how quickly we've changed our lifestyles and how many have complied with what we were asked to do. But the hard reality is that the fight is far from over. Debate is building over when and how states and cities and the economy will reopen. And there are many more tough choices ahead. Washington State's stay-at-home order is set to expire on May 4th. And even though the governor has not made an announcement yet, there are indications that that date may be extended. And we all have to be prepared for that. It's important for everyone to realize that the decision to reopen and to get back to normal will not be sudden. It will be a gradual, phased approach. This approach will be based on scientific data, on numbers of new virus cases, and how well communities are doing at keeping reinfection rates down. Both the state and the federal government have laid out a phased in approach to reopening the economy. It's based on facts and data to make sure that we do not see a rebound in illness and deaths as a consequence of reopening cities too soon. I heard someone say, we need to box the virus in so that we can get out of the box we're in. Doing this requires the wide availability of testing, the ability to notify and warn people who have been in contact with someone infected with the virus, and making sure that people who have been in contact with someone who has been testing positive to self-quarantine for 14 days and to have a safe place to do it. I know that this is extremely difficult. So many are having hardships, financially and socially. So many are dealing with tremendous illness, and many have lost loved ones. This is an extremely difficult and stressful time in life. We all want to get back to work, to see our local businesses open, and to attend public events. We all miss these things. And we will get there. We will eventually see things start to reopen but we will do so with a solid, data-driven plan that keeps our community safe. We are all anxiously waiting to hear what the governor's next steps are in regards to the stay-at-home order and the plan to gradually start reopening businesses. And when we do, we'll start to gradually and carefully see things moving and reopening here in Vancouver. But during this time, 
please continue to prioritize your health, safety, and well-being. Please take care of yourself. Show compassion to others and stay connected to your family and friends, neighbors, and community. Take good care. <laughs>